Hello everyone, welcome in Cool ID Help. I hope you guys are doing well. Guys, this is the new JavaFX tutorial for you. So I'm going to talk about a font library which is very useful uh, for our JavaFX application. In some places, uh, we guys using uh, some icons. Sometimes we're going to create in the Photoshop and sometimes we are uh, collecting these icons from the different website sources. So uh, we don't need to do all that things and we can get all the font icons in one place. So we just have to use this API uh, in our NetBeans project and we are able to use all the icons in our application. So in this tutorial, I will tell you all these stuff. So here I have created a note. So what is the font awesome guys? This is the very useful collection of icons and all these icons are vector graphics fixed. So these icons are scalable and very suitable for the JavaFX application. And uh, there's a download link. This is a direct download link. You can go to the Maven repository and from that place you can download. Also, you can add the dependency, Maven dependency from the same link and you can uh, use in your project as well. So first I will show you uh, about the link, uh, the download link of this jar file. So open your favorite browser and uh, copy this link and paste it here. You guys can get this link in the description. Okay, so this is the page where I have downloaded. So this is the jar file. You simply click on this place and that uh, library will be downloaded. So you will get font awesome. 8.2.jar file okay now you have to go in your netbeans id and you have to create id and you have to create a simple fxml based project okay in your netbeans id then go to the properties and go to the libraries and here you have to import the font awesome 8.2.jar okay in build path okay so we have added all this stuff. Now I will tell you how to use the font awesome. Okay. I have created this project and I have uh, added some uh, objects on the FXML. So I will show you what we have on the FXML. So this is my FXML uh, that I am using in this project. So this is simple uh, title for the demonstration and this is uh, the horizontal box that I am using. Okay. And uh, I have assigned uh, FX ID to this FX, uh, this uh, horizontal box. Okay. And, uh, and uh, this uh, yellow uh, square, this is a border pane. Okay. And uh, also I have assigned the FX ID to this border pane. Okay. Two things we are using first one is horizontal box and second one is border pane so we will use these objects in the controller file and then we will set the font, font awesome icon on these two controls okay now i am going to minimize this i hope you guys clear till now okay so going inside the controller file so i will uh, explain you step by step. This is very easy. One line of code you need to write and you will able to use any type of icon in your JavaFX application. So this is the simple FXML annotation. And uh, here is our horizontal box. This is the FX ID we have assigned in the FXML uh, to the horizontal box. And uh, this is the FX ID for the border pane. So we are uh, uh, using these objects in the controller. Okay. Now, uh, come to this initialize section. So here you can see at line number 43, horizontal box dot get children. You have to call this method. Then you have to call add all. And then you have to use the create icon method of glyph dude class and you have to pass these two things inside the create icon method. So, so we have a class font awesome icons and there's a constant defined. So each icon is defined public static final and uh, you can use 
any of icon of your choice. Right now, I'm using the ambulance icon and here is the size of the icon. This is 40 pixel. So if you want to uh, use the big size of icon, so you have to increase the size in the pixel. So let me show you how many we have uh, in this class. Just uh, press control space and you will see the list of all the, the icons inside the font awesome icon class and you can see this is public static final this is defined as a constant so lots of icon you can scroll down step by step and you can uh, find out the icon of your choice okay so i am uh, simply using two kind of icon first i'm using the ambulance and uh, uh, second one i am using a uh, barcode okay so the same way uh, I'm setting this uh, barcode icon at the center position of border pane. Okay. So I hope this uh, code is clear to you and just save all these stuff and I'm going to take the build, clean build of this project. Then I will run and I will show you the results. Okay. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to run this example and we will see the result. Okay, here we go. You can see this is our ambulance icon. This is uh, placed inside the horizontal box. Okay, and uh, here we have this uh, barcode inside the border pane at center, center position. Okay, now let me do small changes. I, I want to increase the size of uh, this barcode then what i have to do okay go inside the controller file and uh, come here at this place and i'm making this uh, 150 pixel and save this and do a right clean build before run this project okay now run this action wow it's working fine so you can see uh, our barcode is uh, maximized and uh, uh, its size is big okay so these vector graphics are scalable as per your requirement you can increase or decrease the size of these icons with a simple line of code guys if you found this video useful so please like and share with your friends as well also, if you want such more useful videos on my channel, so please subscribe my channel and press this notification bell icon so you will get the latest video update. Guys, thanks for watching. Cool IT Help.